It's our next work session. Today's goal is to put the engine back in. We're going to put the starter on the engine before we drop it in because it's such a pain to put in while it's in the car. So Scott ran up to our Riley's to have that tested out. Kurt's raising up the engine. We've got some extra bolts. We need to find out where they go. And we're going to have to hold off on the, uh, the um, struts because we're actually going to replace them with some coilovers and those are on their way. So let's go ahead and get started. Scott just got back from O'Reilly's where they tested our starter and it turns out our starter is bad. So we got one on order. We were hoping to put the starter in now because it'd be a lot easier than after the engine's in, but we can't let that stop us. So we're going to just drop the engine in now and put the starter in when we get it in. Okay, we got the alternator on and we're ready to drop it in. We're going to tilt the engine because this end got to go down and under. So we'll do that right now. We've got this motor mount on. We got the motor mount in the front here on. Now we're working on the driver's side motor mount. Just don't know where the bolts are. We have a problem. We bought a new motor mount and we've been struggling with it the whole time, but it turns out it's not the right one. Where did we get a new one? Oh. Old one's torn. Oh, it is? We've reached a stopping point for this video because we got to order a new starter, which we've already done. And now we realize that we have to order a new motor mount. So we'll catch you in the next video. Okay, this is the start of our next work session. Today we want to put in the correct motor mount. In the last video, you saw where the motor mount was the wrong one. Well, we got the correct one in this time. Apparently the motor mount for the automatic transmission cars is different than the manual transmission cars. So we got the right one and we also got a new starter. So that's what we're going to get started on today. It's just two of us. So let's get started. Here we go. All right, it's off now. It's our next work session. Today our goal is to hook up all these wires to wherever they go. Like a bunch of morons, we labeled one side like that says 37, oh, but we didn't put any indicator on the other end to match up to it. We're also waiting on the coilovers to come in, so we can't work on that today. There's not a whole lot we can do today.
that's all for this video. We only have about six weeks until the race in Road Atlanta, so we'll be working more often and making more content for our two or three fans. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. And if you want to support our team, go to polyvance.com and buy some of our products. And don't miss our next video. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified when we do upload our next video. Thanks for watching.